All right, this is insane. Google just unveiled Gemini 3, their state-of-the-art reasoning and thinking model. And the things you can do with it will honestly blow your mind. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan and today let me show you how Gemini 3 can help you do pretty much anything. Yes, we're talking about planning, visualizing, creating games, creating apps, solving puzzles, helping you with your math homework, writing code for you. There's so much Gemini 3 can do for you. Let me show you in real time. So this right here is Gemini 3. This model can literally help you learn anything. It can help you build pretty much anything that you want. And you can also start planning stuff with it in minutes. Let me actually show you how it works. Thanks to Google for giving me early access to Gemini 3. I have been tinkering a lot with it and I think it is honestly amazing. Let me show you what all you can do with it. First of all, since it is an amazing reasoning and thinking model, let's ask it some questions. Say you want to create a product like Notion. I've asked Gemini to give me the feature set, the go-to-market strategy, the pricing, defensibility, AI integration, everything like that. And the end I've added, think like a founder. And as you can see, it gives you the exact step-by-step -step process for how can you understand the weakness? How can you create a feature set? How can you integrate AI? your GTM strategy, price strategy, everything laid out in front of you. Let's try to ask it some trick questions. So imagine that a farmer has 17 goats, all but nine die. How many are left? Explain the trick and the reasoning. So let's see what does it do? Is it able to think about the problem? Can you think about the answer for this? Pause this video and tell me in the comments below. And it got the correct answer. The answer is nine. If you thought the answer was something like eight, you were wrong. You have to look at the linguistic trap over here. This is really cool. It didn't just do the normal 17 minus nine calculation over here. Another reasoning question to ask, a man walks into a bar and asks a glass of water. The bartender pulls out a shotgun and points it at him. The man says thank you and walks out. Explain what happened with a detailed chain of reasoning. Let's see if it is able to understand this or not. So Gemini 2.5 was the best model out there. Google has one upped the previous model with Gemini 3 and this is what we get as a result. There are some amazing results that you can see on the screen for how well Gemini 3 is performing compared to other models. And this is the answer. It's a classic lateral thinking puzzle to understand the interaction. You have to look past the literal threat of violence and understand the physical state of the men walking into the bar. The man didn't ask for water because he was thirsty. He asked for the water because he had hiccups. Water is a common home remedy for curing hic hiccups. And this is the reply that it basically gave over here. The man realized that the shock had worked and his hiccups were gone. Since he no longer had hiccups, he no longer needed the glass of water. So he said thank you to the bartender for the clear cure and walked out satisfied. So bartender was basically showing the shotgun so that he's shocked and his hiccups go away. The biggest strength of Gemini 3 comes from its ability to build stuff. So you can build pretty much anything that you want with it. So build me a, you know, snake game. So you can basically ask it to write all the code for something like a snake game and it will preview the game to you in Gemini itself. All right, there you go. So this is just one sentence and this is what we get. Start. And we can start playing this game. There's also some background music, but this is simple, right? Obviously the, the visuals look amazing, but what else do we have here? See, honestly, any model can make a snake game. That was looking really good though, but we can also start creating visualizations. So here I've asked it to show me how an atom really works. So teach me how does an atom work visually. I've enabled the canvas mode and it literally built it out for me. So this is what the current lithium atom looks like. We can also look at the carbon atom right here. As you can see, this is what the carbon atom looks like. I can get a cloud view. I can get an orbital view. I can see the protons, neutrons, electrons, and get all the information about this particular atom. But that's not it. I asked it to make me a 3D Lego builder, and this is what it did. This right here is a 3D Lego builder. So I can basically make Legos however I want in this 3D builder. I can choose any types of Lego right here. As you can see, I can delete any Lego that I want to, and I can just create pretty much anything that I want with it. I can change the colors. I can have a black Lego piece, I can have a yellow Lego piece and so on and so forth and create this in real time. You can also take any picture that you have and you can ask it to make it into a art scene inspired by this image and write all the code in a single page. So if I will move around, I can see what this square looks like and I can basically visualize it very well all thanks to Gemini. I even asked it to show me how does the AC motor work visually and this is what it did. So this is basically the induction motor. I can pause it. I can see what 
all of these currents are, where is the net magnetic field, and then I can even ask it more questions. So now I want to show you something really crazy. This is an interview prep AI made with the help of Gemini 3. The way it works is, say I want to participate for a job interview for a role of a digital marketer. Say I want to interview for a digital marketing position. I've started the interview. It will now ask me questions. Describe a time you had to pivot a major digital marketing strategy mid-campaign. Hey, I think I just used uh, Gemini to help me out with all the questions. I don't really know much about ROI and other things that you're asking me about. All right. Yeah, I think uh, the best way to move forward for this would be to again ask Gemini 3 because I have no idea what does mixed modeling or multi-touch attribution mean. Can you ask an easier question? So say I gave a simple interview for a digital marketing position like this one and it will look at my video, my audio and it gives you a score. It gives you a confidence assessment. Candidates answer are extremely short, highly casual, completely non-substantive. Then it gives you the key strengths and it gives you the areas of improvement. And you also get a transcript of the answers that you wrote. This is insane. Gemini built an app that can connect with my video, my webcam, connected with my audio. It took in all the audio and my video and it analyzed all of that data and gave me this answer. But that's not even all. Gemini 3 is amazing at design and Replit used Gemini 3 to enable you to build any design that you want to. So if you go down, I literally built a entire website which looks so cool right here. Just have a look at this website. This was built entirely with the help of Replit. I can go on to design and I can mention what design do I want and it will build it for me and the designs are amazing to look at. Like this was just my prompt, build me an interactive resume website that looks like a Windows home screen. Needs to be interactive and each heading can be a program on the screen. As you saw, this was the prompt and this is the website that it built for me. This is my resume portfolio. I can go onto my profile, I can read everything about me, I can look at my important links, I can look at my experience, and this entire website was built end-to-end -end by Gemini into Replit. How cool is that? The future of building stuff is finally here. You can use Gemini to build pretty much anything that you want, and I just showed you some amazing examples of that. What will you use Gemini 3 for? Let me know below in the comment section. You can try it out right now in the Gemini app. You can also check it out on Google AI Studio. Let me know below in the comments what you think of it. I think this is insane and I cannot wait to make more stuff with Gemini 3. I'll see you in the next video. Hit the like button and subscribe. If you're still watching, write in the comment section. I was till the very end. I'll see you in the next one.